so I am on the way to Orlando. I'm presently in Tallahassee. I just refilled, had me some water burger. Oh, y'all, I am like a sucker for a patty melt all the time. So I decided to go down and see my mom this weekend, the weekend after Mother's Day, because I couldn't go last weekend. So um, I was like, yeah, I'm getting down there this weekend. And so I am, y'all. And tell me why y'all Hertz was so nice enough to actually upgrade my rental. So I just had got like a normal compact car like I always do. I try to get the eco ones, but they decided to actually upgrade my rental. So y'all, I'm riding in a Buick Encore. It's a nice one. I don't know if it's like the 2018, 2019, but it's really nice so shout out to hertz y'all i like that and probably too because i'm a rewards member with ihg which um is a part of like when we book our hotels and stuff like that so i get like extra rewards with being a member of that program as well because they're partners so i'm always trying to figure out ways you guys to like save and like travel on a dime because i love to travel and i've been trying to do more of like getting around the country like the you know the states but i also want to start traveling out of the country so prayerfully we can start doing that in the next year come 2020 you guys because i would love to actually go to like morocco or india or somewhere like something like that somewhere where i can truly submerge myself into another you know racist culture and i would just love to do that because i just think it's so important to you know culture yourself and to you know not just get so caught up in your own you know ethnicity and race and the way that you guys live your life like we're all unique and i just like to you know expand my horizon so yeah i love to travel and i'm excited if you guys can't tell so yeah y'all so that's what's going on right now nothing much just trying to get to orlando <laughs> all right you guys let's get back on the road What's the name of this gym show? Huh? What's the name of this gym it's, show? Uh, Lapidary Gym and Lapidary, Lapidary Show. Okay, Lapidary Gym and Lapidary Show. We're going to a jewelry show, y'all. I said they have crystals and stuff in here, and jewelry and beads and stuff. So we're going to see what they have, because y'all know I like all that kind of stuff. So hopefully they have something emerald. We might get lucky today. I don't know. We're going to see the. I'm just here. Spending time with the fam, bam. <laughs> Y'all yeah, so cute. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start on the outside and there's a whole lot of vendors. They're from everywhere. Some people are from Maryland, New York. So it's people from everywhere with all types of jewelry and stuff. And so this first table just shows like the actual necklace class. Yeah, that's what these looks like. 
So these are only like two dollars. So they're like little trinkets and stuff, like little pieces. I wonder if I could find something to have the crown on them, because I really actually would need something like that. You might can find something new with a crown. Yeah, I need something with a crown. Because if I can find something with a crown, I'm just gonna act on that next idea so fast. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the jewelry. Five dollar jewelry. This is so much. Yeah. It's just so much. Oh my gosh, y'all. I got me some aquamarine. <laughs> it was only four dollars. Ma, how much was it? It was only six dollars. Back at home for how many grams did he say that one was? It was like 10 grams or something yeah. like that. Yeah, the one at home that was 10 grams, I was going to have to pay $125 for. Mom came through. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> so you said they came down this way? Oh. Oh, I'll be bankrupt. Oh, I'm glad I don't. I'm not well off. Oh. oh. That's why I'm glad I'm not well off. <gasps> Look at the spears. Yes. <laughs> More lapis lazul. This lapis lazul. Lapis lazul. Lapis lazul. L a p i s l a z. Look at this jade. But no, it's good. It's, I am. It's good for your intuition, higher consciousness, like you chilling with God and everything like that. It's good for meditation. Like if you ever notice in some of my videos, I wear those blue. Earrings, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it is. It's good for meditation, and it's good for if you want to carry it on you all the time. Oh, look at the um, quartz. See what I was saying? It's different forms of tourmaline, and I thought that was tourmaline over there on the other side. And this is this, um, that's um, that's calcite. That's calcite. Is this calcite or is this um, yeah, calcite? This is true. And that looks like it may be some form of onyx or something. Right there. And I like the raw cuts. Which one of these are Don't matter which one you're Whichever one you're naturally drawn to. So just. I like that one. And you should out and place it in your left hand because you receive coming in and it goes out with the left. So just whichever one, just pick it up and just place it in the palm of your hand. This one is the one I picked up initially. Okay. And if you feel like you're drawn into it, like literally if you feel like it's drawn into you, and that's the one I usually pick. And I like this one. <laughs> y'all, your mom's picking crystals. <laughs> and y'all know I love the pieces. So. We'll go with the one that you feel like resonates yeah. with you. <gasps> yeah, and then that's the Look at the M. Mm. Yes, yeah. baby. I love black tourmaline. I have so much of it. Yes. Piece, yes, a lot okay. of people do not realize how powerful tourmaline is. Put them in the water. Yes. That's what I was reading. It voids off negative spirits. It's good for protection and grounding. Yes. And it's good for like if you're around computers all the time mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like I wonder if they have pyrite in here. They probably do. They had it last time. Oh man, yeah, two dollars a piece, and that's big. And matter of fact, let me get Lexus some, cause um, matter of fact, let's get a piece. I think she might resonate with her. I like this with the lines and that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like, I like the way that one. I'll give her that. One. So you see him, don't you? Wow! Oh my God! It's so much. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby. If I was, if I had some money.
called it again. It's beautiful. That's a form of onyx. And here's another one. Mm -hmm. Huge. Like a jawbreaker. Yeah. Uh-uh, don't keep picking them up. Huh? <laughs> that one. I can't it's see so that one. That one should be. I know. Yeah, different kind of tapestries. Mm-hmm. All different kinds of tapestries, you guys. so much in here. I wish I had more money because I would have bought more stuff.
first dance. Oh. Okay. So, oh, if y'all wondering what's back there, yes, that's my laundry. I don't care. Did my laundry in my mom's house. I sure did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, y'all. So, I'm on the way back to Orlando. I'm actually passing by Ocala. Um, if you guys don't know where Ocala is, it's towards Central Florida. And it's like two hours away from Orlando. Yeah, like two hours away. Yeah, so I have family in Ocala, Leesburg, Apopka, Orlando, Winter Park, Maitland, Tampa, Clearwater, um, Miami, Jacksonville, Gainesville, St. Augustine. We have family some everywhere here in Florida. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, my family is pretty big, y'all. But majority of my mom's family is down in Pensacola. I mean, I'm sorry, not Pensacola, but Florida. And down across, down along the um, East Coast as well. So we have folks who live in Georgia, Atlanta, um, different places in, in Georgia, as well as up in North and South Carolina. And we have family in Virginia and New York. And that's, my, that's just my mom's side. And my dad's side is all on the West Coast. So, um, yeah, I have a pretty big family. We have a ton, like a shitload of cousins. There's so many of us. Oh, my God. It is so many of us. It is not even funny. We just see each other and just say, hey, cousin. Hey, we look, we know you family. Shit, you look just like us. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So, traffic is like mad crazy out here today. Um, It's not like mad crazy. I shouldn't say that. It's just that traffic where people are trying to get on the road before it gets crazy. So, yeah. So, I'm on 75 right now. And I'm heading back up to I-10 so I can head west to head back up to the panhandle, you guys. So, yeah, y'all. I had a blessed trip. Um, I had planned on doing a little filming while I was there, um, outside of what's in this vlog, but time just didn't permit for it, so, um, yeah, I was just really in the moment, just really enjoying my mom, my aunt, um, y'all, that senior prom we went to last night was motherfucking lit, it was so lit, like, those folks was out there on that dance floor, baby, like, they was out there dancing, like, they was, y'all, when I say dancing, they was fucking cutting a rug dancing, like, it was the like advanced level of the two step you hear me like they was out there not playing they was coming for everybody they was coming for your granny your mama your uncle your granddaddy like they was all coming for you last night they was cutting the road they even did the soul trade line and um yeah i even got my aunt to get up and dance with me y'all and um my mom she was just i don't know my mom was just not doing she was like uh-uh she was like i'm just gonna be here i was like okay mom well you dancing you be cute in your little chair girl we finna go out here on this dance floor and uh yes yeah, so i finally convinced my aunt to do it so i told him i said next year i said we're going to get one dance at the beginning and then one at the end i said we don't come to prom to just sit down babe we come to celebrate and turn up because my mom and my aunt they didn't get to go to their um high school prom so it's a senior community group that they're a part of you guys in the altamont springs area which is like literally five minutes away from eatonville and um which is next door to a popper and um yeah and so they're part of this group they travel they do all kinds of they do they do some fun stuff like travel activity things like i'm like damn i need to be a part of this group like y'all do most of them what i do and um yeah so that's why it was so many people there and like it was young people there as well because you know naturally children grandchildren stuff who came to support the event and it was really really nice you guys and so um yeah they had a nice dinner buffet the food was awesome that food was delicious y'all i wish i would have had two pieces of chicken i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and yeah and it was just really really nice it was really personable and it was just something to where you know that it really does 
let people have a prom and like they was in their ball, their ball gowns and like they were just so gorgeous it was so many different colors um a majority of the women did wear black um i'm not a fan of black necessarily because i wear black every day in school for cosmetology but um yes yeah, so that's why i have my blue romper undress y'all see me wore that um before it's on my instagram account so i just decided to wear that because it was like semi-formal and it was a good time y'all so I enjoyed this trip y'all and I will be back in two weeks because um our cosmetology program is coming to the Orlando premiere hair show and it's a big 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 show that professional hairstylists barbers or students are allowed to attend and you know we get to meet the different vendors the different hair companies sheer companies like all kinds of different things and um yeah so we're going to be doing that on June 1st 2nd and 3rd so that will be a pretty good vlog and i can't wait to share that with you guys so i hope you guys did enjoy what i did document for this vlog for my um quick um you know i guess belated mother's day trip to see my mom and my aunt and i just hope you guys enjoyed it so thank you guys so much for hanging out for watching and make sure that you like comment and subscribe on this video you guys and i will see you in the next upload peace you guys bye